Hey guys, Pastor Joe here. Today I'm at the, in front of the prayer wall at the Magnolia campus. I think last week I spoke to you from spring. I do want to update you on a few things. Uh, most of you are aware that the state of Texas, Governor Abbott, has extended uh, the uh, no gatherings uh, recommendations to the end of April. So that means we're going to have at least three or four more Sundays where we're going to meet like this and things happen and the so-called COVID curve begins to flatten even more. They may lift that, but it looks like we just need to get continue in the format that we're going and, uh, and continue to, to meet digitally and praying for each other the way that we're doing. So let me just say a couple of things. One, last Sunday was just awesome in our live services. Uh, we were doing it 9 a.m. every morning. You can watch them later on if you like, but that 9 a.m. service, we're still asking everybody together with us to be a part of that service and uh, come online with us at times just as though you were coming to church. I mean, it's important that you have a, that kind of discipline in your in your life. So come on into the service with us. Uh, there were tremendous amounts of comments and likes and shares. I wanna ask you to do that again because the more that you do that, especially in the share and the comment. Uh, it expands the, uh, the way the algorithm with faith, Facebook works. It expands the number of people that we're actually reaching. So once you come on, come on about five till, get everything set up. There'll be some commenting that goes on. There'll be some things that we'll, of some interaction uh, that we may ask you to do and to, to respond. But it's really important that each of you maybe just, not just to like or share, but make a comment because that really expands kind of an exponential basis, the, the impact that we're having. So comment, let us know who you are. Let us know, well, know who you are because it pops up on your name, but let us know just send out an amen or praise the lord glad to be here and fellowship a little bit digitally i really am having withdrawals basically from this fellowship that, that we do experience and are so uh, uh i think maybe took for granted that's beginning to 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 impact all of us. I, I'm so looking forward to the time we get back together, we worship together, we're able to hug and, and, and to pray together and, and sing together and stand together and listen to the Word of God and teach together. Uh, so I am missing that. If, let's, let's be patient though and let's, uh, let's continue what we're doing, but be faithful to do it and participate with us like that. It really does make the difference, especially in the Facebook format that we use. Four more Sundays, let me just say this to help you in your, in your own personal walk. There's about three or four things that we're asking all the time for you to do even more consistently now. One is continue to pray, the power of prayer. Continue to send your prayer request in that we can put on the prayer wall as well, and we'll lift those up to the Lord. So when those come in, they get put on a post-it, they're put on both prayer walls at, 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 at both campuses. Feel free, the offices are open Monday through Thursday if you wanna just walk in by yourself and find a place in the worship center to maybe, or come to the wall and put up a prayer request and pray for some of these needs. You know, we're, we're if someone's here, then just wait off in one of the areas over there and, and wait your turn. But uh, I'm still encouraging every one of us to pray, whether we're at home or at the church, wherever you go. God hears your prayer. The second thing I want to encourage you to do is uh, to stay in the Word of God. Get in your Bible. Continue with the chronological Bible. We're reading through it in a year together as a whole church. I think we're day 90 or something like that. They were into it. If you're behind on it, this is a great time for you to catch up, open it up, spend some time in the Word, let God speak to your heart. Some great chapters in the, in the Word of God that we're in right now that are really in, powerfully encouraging and really show us the might, the power, and the sovereignty of God over all nations. That really becomes clear as you get in the Word of God. And the, the third thing is continue to share your faith. Ask people, can I pray for you? Uh, when you're at the grocery store, if you're in the line, you know, you can, you're doing small talk with people or whatever. Say, hey, you know, we have a prayer ministry. Is there anything we can pray for you about? It opens a door for one, tremendous ministry, and two, it really expands your effect in people's lives, especially in these times. These, there's a lot of panic. There's a lot of anxiety. There's a lot of fear that's out there. So we should remember at all times that if we pray and we're in our word together and we're sharing together, then we're fulfilling what God's called us to do is we reach out to other people. We love God. We love people. We reach the world. Remember, remember that. And we know the bottom line of it all is we are here for such a time as this. You know, I just didn't want to take too much of your time today, but in Proverbs 12, 25, it says, anxiety in a man's heart will weigh it down. But it goes on to say, a good word will make it glad. So let me close our little meeting today. We're about four minutes into this and with a good word for you from Philippians chapter four. It says, rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. This starts in verse four. And he goes on to say, let your gentle spirit be known to all men. The Lord is near. Amen. Be anxious for nothing. But in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, 
which surpasses all comprehension, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Remember Proverbs says anxiety in a man's heart weighs it down? Certainly a lot of anxiety. He says, but here's the thing. How do you deal with that? He says, one, here's the good word that makes your heart glad. You rejoice in the Lord always. And he goes on to say, let your gentle spirit be known to all men. The same thing we've been saying. You got to shine. You got to share. You got to stand up and let people know that you're an ambassador for Christ. You're there to help them and minister them in any way possible. And then he says this word, the Lord is near. Man, that's plenty of cause for rejoicing. And we talked about that Sunday. If you haven't listened to that sermon, you go back and listen to it. We talked about the company that we keep in the presence of God as he lives in us and walks with us. But he says these words, be anxious for nothing. How do you deal with anxiety? Well, that's through the rejoicing. It's through the shining. It's through the sharing. But he says it this way. He says, here's the way you really deal with it. He says, Pre present everything to God in prayer. Let your supplications be known. Offer thanksgiving. Let your requests be known to the Lord. And the peace of the Lord, which passes all understanding, will guard your heart in your mind in Christ Jesus. That's a pretty simple antidote for the anxiety of the day. The Lord is near. He's here. He's present. Not just with me in this room, but wherever you are today and wherever you find yourself and in your heart and your emotions, whatever you're dealing with, he's near. Let me just have a word of prayer for you. Father, I pray for each and every person that's listening to our comments digitally today online or however they may be getting it, that you would touch their lives and touch their hearts. I pray that each and every one of them would know your nearness at this time in their life that you would so clearly speak to their hearts and minds and that the peace that you give, as you promise here, as they rejoice in you, as they seek your face, as they shine, God, the peace that you give that surpasses all our comprehension will rest upon their hearts, rest upon their lives, and rest upon their minds. Give them, Lord, what they need for this moment in their life. May you be glorified in all of it. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you again. God bless you. I will see you in church Sunday morning on the line of devices and TVs and computers or whatever. Continue to pray for us as we prepare for the messages. We're getting ready for Easter just a couple of Sundays away. I got some exciting things I want to share with you about our Easter service. I'll be talking about that Sunday, so do not miss that. God bless you and thank you. Appreciate it.